All right, moving right along, I'm trying to get through all these uh, suppressed setup reviews in one day. Um, this I bought as a uh, firefighter discount on a Smith & Wesson uh, M&P 15 VTAC rifle. As you can see, I highly modified it. Pretty much the only thing that's left factory is the upper and lower and the, uh, the forearm, the uh, rail. Other than that, I pretty much sold everything off and changed it. I wanted a short S uh, special purpose rifle. I didn't want an 18 inch barrel. I wanted a, a 16 because I was going to throw a suppressor on it. This does have a chrome lined uh, 1 and 7 twist. I'll start over here again. I threw on a Magpul PRS stock. A, uh, God, I forget who makes this. AccuCam? AccuShot? Something like that. Uh, monopod for the rear that you can adjust up and down and this is awesome with this setup with the Harris uh, bipod you pretty much once you get the gun uh, set up and uh, level and straight at the target you just kind of make shooting no fun anymore because you just sit there and hold the gun and pull the trigger and it goes exactly where you need it to every time you don't even need to hold it um, I have not added yet I will add it in the future probably next week uh, there's a company or a gentleman who invented a replacement part for this sling sling loop basically it looks the same although it has a machine circle in it and it's to be used with a QD sling so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that install it there and then I'm gonna get the uh, they sell for this version rifle for the VTAC rails a QD slot type mount and I'm going to put it right here. That way I can use the sling on my SBR, um, on my SPR as well. Moving right along, Magpul Myad Grip, uh, Magpul Winter Trigger Guard, has a Lure, uh, Lure Tactical One Piece Quick Detach Smoke Mount, Scope Mount, with a uh, Bushnell Elite 3200 uh, 10 magnification by 42, I believe, objective lens. Uh, scope. It's not the most expensive scope out there. I forget how much I paid for it, but you know, for shooting at 200 meters, maybe 300 meters is all I take this out to. Uh, it's more than I need. It shoots great. Um, the glass is actually pretty clear. And on this gun, I have the standard AAC 51T flash hider because the 16 inch barrel allows more time for the. Uh, powder to burn and it won't sandblast the hell out of my suppressor so you don't really need the brake I'll probably add the brake later after this gets all worn out uh, I do like the brake more um, I still haven't added backup iron sights on this I'm trying to keep it lightweight as possible this gun's pretty fucking heavy and uh, I didn't really want to add any more weight to it and I'm not going to be in a combat situation anytime soon so I don't really need any fucking backup sights on it but knowing me I'll probably add them later Let's see if I can set this down. On this gun, shooting suppressed has to be done with a suppressor cover. Um, the heat mirage that you'll see through the scope is horrendous after maybe 10 shots. So I contacted uh, uh, Tony at Tab Gear and he built this custom made. This is a suppressor cover that's heat resistant and will withstand the temperatures that this can gets up to. Obviously you can't mag dump it. It'll, 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 it'll char and burn then. But you know, if you shoot 20 rounds, slow fire, and let it cool for a little while, and repeat, uh, it'll be fine. Uh, Tony's a stand-up guy. This is my second cover. My first one was OD Green. I'm switching to Multicam now. But uh, I was installing it wrong. I didn't get any instructions with the first one. But I didn't realize that he builds a uh, a ridge right here. It's not in the front. It's only in the back. It's a re it's a recoil ridge. And uh, what I was doing is I was sliding this on the front of the suppressor at the range, and I would have to force it over the QD mount, and it ended up tearing through it. I contacted him, and he uh, told me the correct way to install it was to install the cam through the front of it. And that QD mount will rest on the front side of that recoil ridge that he that he puts in there. See, and it'll, it'll stop right there, and then you can mount it on the gun.
And look, it's perfectly flush. It looks great. Uh, anyway, he replaced it, no questions asked. He didn't even ask for the old one back, so I still have it. I can use it to take off a hot suppressor off the SBR. So stand-up guy, Tony at Tab Gear is good to go. Let me show you what it looks like mounted. Another way to do this, I don't have much room to reflex this back on the barrel, but is to slide your suppressor cover onto the barrel, mount the suppressor, and then slide the cover onto it. But like I said, I don't really have much space there, so. That's what it would look like. Obviously, I have the bipod down. But, uh, awesome setup with the 1 and 7 twist and a clean barrel. It shoots awesome groups. Um, next time I take it to the range, I'm going to do a quick review and kind of tag it on at the end of this one. Uh, I'm going to do the same with the SBR that I have. And uh, I'll try to show you some groups. Uh, I'm going to try to shoot it at 200 meters if I can get out to the range when it's, when it's open. Hopefully, there's no high crosswinds and the weather cooperates with us but I have some uh, Hornady match uh, loads it should be should shoot nice in it actually it has shot nice in it but I rarely save my targets but this time I will so I can show you but that's it uh, that's actually a little bit quieter than the Noveski obviously the barrel's a little bit longer gives the powder time to burn alright now we're on the other side of the gun I, I do have it down so you can see that it does uh, self support and level it's great um, uh, the bipod mount is a little tactical quick detach. Um, when shooting suppressed on my SBR and on this, you do get more gas blowback from the gas tube blowing more gas back because of the back pressure buildup from the can being on the end of the gun. So I did do the RTV mod to the charging handle, but I still get some gas in my face. So what I did is I uh, contacted Battlecloth. Um, he doesn't have a website. If you need any of his products, he builds custom suppressor holsters, suppressor cases, and these. Uh, you just Google his name on Google and you'll find it. I think his email is battlecloth at comcast.net. Um, but anyway, uh, also another stand-up guy. Uh, I had one of these fail after a while. I forget what happened, but he replaced it. No questions asked. Stand-up guy. Uh, definitely buy with confidence there. This is a quick Velcro blast guard that you put on the gun and you can you can slide it back if you need to use the charging handle for a malfunction or anything and you can just slide it right back over and it slides over it. So when you have your nose right here because you know as AR shooters shoot pretty much when any any type of sight whether it's a scope, red dot or, or, or irons uh, most of us shoot nose to charging handle, and as you see, this is great. Shooting with that is like shooting a normal AR-15 with a suppressor on it, so it definitely makes shooting more enjoyable. Um, that's pretty much it. Earlier, I forgot who made this, and I looked at it. It is AccuShot Monopod, so I believe I was right there. But, uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, I'm not going to go back out in my backyard and shoot this either, even though it is legal. Like I said, I don't feel like shooting a 5.56 on my damn backyard. So, um, there is plenty of videos of me shooting this at the range. Uh, actually, I think there's a video of me shooting it at 200 meters that I took a couple years ago. So, you can just watch that if you want to see it in action. Take it easy.